find the real value of x. 12x square is equal to 63 minus 3 x raised to power 4. What is the value of s? Hi, everyone. Welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s. From this given equation, 12x square is equal to 63 minus 3x raised to power 4. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation. 12 s square is equal to 63 minus 3 s raised to power 4. Then we have 12 s square is equal to 63 minus 3 s raised to power 4 is the same thing as 3 s square square. Then we have 12 s square. Let's bring this to the other side. We have plus 3 into s square square is equal to 63. Now, let s square is equal to t. Then we have 12t plus 3 t square is equal to 60 t. Now we have 12t plus 3 t square minus 60 t is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange this. We have 3 t square plus 12t minus 60t is equal to 0. Now here, let's divide both sides by 3. Then we have 3t square divided by 3 plus 12t divided by 3 minus 60t divided by 3 is equal to 0. Then this one will cancel this. 3 here, 1, 3 here, 4, 3 here, 1, 3 here, 21. Then we have t square plus 40 minus 21 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved by using either quadratic general formula or factorization method. But in this case, I'm going to use factorization method. And in factorization method, here, the coefficient of t square here is 1, the coefficient of t here is 4, and the constant is minus 21. We are going to look for two numbers so that the product will give minus 21 and the sum will give plus 4. And 21 is what? Minus 3 multiplied by 7, which is called what? 21. And in order to get this, if you have minus 3, plus 7, you are going to get 4. Then, therefore, we have t square minus 3t plus 7t minus 21 is equal to 0. Now, here, let's factor t out. We have t into t minus 3 plus 7 into t minus 3 is equal to 0. Then we have, we have t here and we have 7 here. Here is t minus 3 and here is t minus 3. We have t plus 7 into t minus 3 is equal to 0. Then we have t plus 7 equal to 0 or t minus 3 equal to 0. Then from t plus 7, we have t plus 7 is equal to 0. Therefore, t is equal to minus 7. And we also have from here, t minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, t is equal to 3. And remember that we said s square 
S square is equal to T and T is equal to 3 or minus 7. Then we have S square is equal to minus 7. Then we reject this. Reject because no real root. Then also we have S square is equal to what? 3. Therefore, let's take the square root of both sides. We have S square, square root is equal to what? Square root of 3. Here is plus or minus. Then this one we cancel this. Therefore, S is equal to plus or minus square root of 3. So that is the value of X. Then, and we can see that here we've gotten the value of s to be plus or minus 3. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. We have the given equation 12 s square is equal to cc3 minus 3 s raised to the power 4. And x is equal to plus or minus root 3. Then, which is the same thing as plus or minus 3 raised to the power 1 over 2. Now, let's check. Then we have 12 into what? S is what? 3 raised to the power 1 over 2 square is equal to 63 minus 3 into 3 raised to the power 1 over 2 raised to the power what? 4. Then this one will cancel this. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 2. Now we have 12 times 3, that is 36, is equal to 63 minus 3 into 3 square. Here is 36 plus, that is, this is 36 plus 3 into 3 square, that is 9, is equal to what? 63. Now, here is 36. We have 36. Plus 9 times 3, that is 27, must be equal to what? 63. And 36 plus 27 is equal to 63. Then we have 63 is equal to what? 63, which satisfies the given equation at S is equal to plus root 3. You can also check at S is equal to minus root 3. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.